White line, trout line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread and mustard greens, that's how we live and it sure feels fine. Well, you can't change us, that's the way we know. Cajun people live like they did long ago. So join the fun, live off the land, cause there ain't nothing better than a Louisiana man. Trap line sitting on a pipeline waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread, mustard greens. That's how we live, and it sure feels fine. You're watching Cajun Living and Cooking. Hey, everybody, welcome to Cajun Living and Cooking. My name's Rodney Dupree, and today we got a neat show for y'all. We're at RP Custom Trailers and Service, and we got a a lot of neat things going on. We're going to show you how to fix your trailers. All the stuff Ryan sells in here, really neat stuff. And we got good food too. We actually got some brisket, we got some chicken, we frying fish, we got baked beans, we're doing coleslaw, we got good bread. So hang on, Cajun Living and Cooking's fixing to start right about now. All right, y'all, we're getting the day started here with some good cooks, man. Let's get their names and where they're from. Uh, Brian Boudreaux, Zachary, Louisiana. Spike Graham, Prairieville, Louisiana. Uh, Chase Tall Place, Santa Mo, Louisiana. Spike, what we got going? This is a nice looking pit. Yeah, this is an old smokery. It's a confection smoker. Uh, we're cooking up some chicken today and some uh, brisket. Yes, indeed. Now, you've already put the chicken on. Yeah, we, uh, we marinated it overnight, and then we seasoned it up, and then we uh, just put the chicken on about five minutes ago. All right. Now, how long is this going to take? It's going to take about a couple hours, and then we'll, uh, we'll put the brisket on in a little while and let it be cooking, too, and then we'll be ready to eat about 12. Now, what temperature are you looking to hold that chicken at? We're going to cook it about, smoke it about 250 degrees. For about two hours. About two hours. All right, y'all. Y'all heard that. We go getting the chicken smoking. We got some other stuff going on. We're going to be eating soon. Hey, everybody. I got Ryan here, Ryan Pierce, who is owner of RP Custom Trailers and Service. How's it going? Good, Rodney. How about you? Doing good, doing good. Nice day, man. Yes, awesome day. And you got some good cooks come and share some good recipes yes, with us. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Now, what people don't know, your little hidden gem out here. Let's tell everybody how to get here first. Well, first of all, what I tell people, you just come outside of Port Vincent down Highway 16. You want to take a left on Highway 42 right by the Moonlight Inn. And I'm exactly one mile on the left-hand side. You can't miss it. We've a always, mile from moonlight. Yes, we've always got a bunch of horse trailers or a bunch of RVs out here, you know. Plenty signs by the road. Plenty signs by the road. And, and, and let's tell the people some of the things you do here. You know, not only do you have all the parts and pieces that people need for their trailers, but all the repairs and stuff, too. Yes, I mean, there's... Uh, pretty much nothing that we won't try to do you know uh, we can basically fix anything on a pull behind RV fifth wheel RV uh, basically on a motorhome we do everything except for drivetrain um, we have a guy here that specializes in generator repairs so wow. we, you can do all your generator work here but our main focus here is uh, rubber roofs and vinyl roofs because a lot of people don't really realize how important it is to maintain this product. Yeah, they just bought a trailer and they don't know a couple years down the road that, hey, this thing's gonna be leaking if you don't put some maintenance in it. That's right. I mean, you know, uh, salesmen, they don't wanna tell nobody that because it seems like it's gonna complicate the sale and they don't wanna um, tell them something that's gonna deter them to um, not buy a product. Right. You know? So that's what we're gonna show y'all, y'all. We fixing to climb up here and show y'all some roofs and some things that Ryan does, not only from the scratch, but the maintenance and something that, things that you really need on your trailer. So let's show them. Let's do it. All right, Ryan, we made it up here. That's right, man. Oh, uh, now this is an older trailer. This is one of the, has nothing ever been done to this. Right, Rodney, what happens is, um, like we were saying earlier, um, 90% of your uh, RV owners, they don't really realize what has to be done to a rubber or a vinyl roof. And this is a prime example right here. Um, this customer has had this trailer since it was brand new and just he's an older gentleman and never thought that he needed to get on his roof to check anything. Right, right. Um, and so if you can look down here, you can tell where this roof has started the spider web 
and that's a term that we use when we know that we cannot coat this roof. We cannot do anything for this roof now. It has to be changed. So you got to put a whole new roof on right, it. Right, we have to put a whole new piece of rubber on it. And what it is, the spider web you're talking about, looks like the material is just cracked wide open. The right. material is all cracked up. Well, what it, what it is, Rodney, is basically this is a black rubber roof uh -huh. with a product called Dicor on the top of it. Okay. And so the Dicor will actually start breaking up oh, okay. over time from the UV, you know, the sun rays hitting it for so long and not being washed and a UV protectant put on and having somebody like me or the owner basically getting up here every six months and resealing it, touching up spots, you know, and paying attention to the roof, washing it and taking care of it. You know, you, you can go on my website or you can go on Dicor's website and it basically will tell you how to maintain these roofs. But this customer obviously wasn't told that right, when he bought the right. camper. And you can see this is it's cracking all in the seams. It's yes. starting to crack here, it's cracking there. Well, and, well, and I'm um, sure it's probably leaking. Yes, it is leaking. Right here in the corners, they're rotted. This is the, some of the first places these campers will start rotting is in the four corners of these trailers. And this is where you can tell if you've got any rot or weak spots, you know. So basically, when we take this roof off, we'll have to change the plywood. Right. You know, we don't splice any plywood. We change the whole sheet. Gotcha, you know? gotcha. So that would be the next step for this thing. you got to yes. go. And that's where, if you don't do your maintenance and take care of it, you got to start over. Exactly. Exactly. All right. And that's, you know, it's a sad deal. But So we're going to go to one now that, that uh, you've already worked on? Yes, we've already put a roof on it. Okay. So well, we're going to get to see the new product now. That's right. All right, Ryan, this roof looks good. Tell me what's going on with it. Um, well, Rodney, what happened, um, this customer brought this roof in six months ago, and basically it looked like the previous trailer that we were on. Um, so we had to put him a new piece of rubber up here. So what happens is when I change out rubber roofs, Dicor roofs, um, I will warranty them for five years if the customer is willing to bring it back to me every six months to let me put my eyes ah, on Ah, that's a good, that's nice, that's great. Yeah, it's, it's a um, great option to have, but basically so I'll actually get on it for no cost and I will make sure that everything's holding up, the Dicor has no cracks in it, and if it does, I'll actually uh, touch everything up and just make sure that nothing has come apart you know gotcha and i can see this is compared to the other roof we were on it was terrible this is sealed every little thing is yeah. sealed up here i can yeah. see this nice coating on here everything's sealed up and that's because you get to look at it every six months right. and put your hands on it right well that's great man now we got another one that we're going to go look at um this other trailer that we're going to look at um is about three or four years old um it's due for a reseal so basically He's going to have me put a coat of Dicor on it, not change the roof out. It's a, a quarter of the cost. Gotcha. So he, were, he, he actually maintained his roof well enough to where now I can go up and put a new coat of this white Dicor uh -huh. on it, and he will be good for another four or five years. All right. All right, Ryan, we made it on another roof. That's right, and safe. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all, it's funny stuff, me climbing up on these campers. Well, uh, what a nice facility you have here, man. It's, you got plenty of room for all kind of stuff. Yeah, we do. Um, this facility right here was built about three years ago when um, we really started doing a lot of these rubber roofs because um, I've noticed that a lot of guys don't do rubber roofs in the wintertime because, you know, we don't have that cold of winters, but we do get up around 30 degrees sometimes. So that would slow um a, a normal shop down that knows the temperature that you actually got to put these roofs on at um but some guys it might not you know and if you don't actually put these roofs on in 55 degrees or higher warmer, warmer it uh it, the the material won't take gotcha you know? so you were saying you'll you'll come in here the day before turn the heaters on get all the material in here get the camper in here Yes. And in the morning when you come to work, it's ready to go. That's right. That's right. That's so there's no slowing down. So in the winter times, we do a lot of rubber roofs because you got campers that are down and people's not using them in the winter time. So they bring them over here and get the roofs done and that's, reseal jobs. That's done. time for your maintenance. That's right. Now this right. roof here, it don't look bad. Now what's the deal with this roof? 
Um, this roof, like I said before, it's, it's, it's a few years old. Um, the guys actually got up here and washed it and put some UV protectant on it. Um, but he's never really re dicord any self-leveling dicor on any of the products on this camper. Um, so... Yeah, I can see it's not as tight as that one we were on a while ago. Exactly. It's not just as tight or, or as uh, reflective. Right. Well, and, and, and the thing is, is from washing it and taking care of it and doing the maintenance to it, he has saved this roof to where I can actually get on top of this roof now and coat it with the decor. Okay. That's the next step for this one. Exactly. And then get the coat on it, and then he would fall under the warranty. Exactly. And every six Every six months, he can bring it back, and I'll warranty a reseal as well. All right, y'all. Y'all need to bring y'all's campers here. You don't realize all the stuff you need to do to them, but let Ryan look at them and see what you need, and you can extend the life of your camper to amazing. Now, we got some food cooking, too, y'all. Yeah. We're fixing to get to some food, so y'all hang on. We'll be right back after a few words from our sponsors. Cajun Living and Cooking, the TV show, is a lifestyle of South Louisiana people, our culture, and the fun times we all enjoy when we get together with friends and family. What means the most to the people of our community is helping others through benefits or fundraisers, good competition through cook-offs or sports, and good food through sharing recipes, great restaurants, and a good home-cooked meal. We try to bring a little bit of that each week right to your living room TV set. The show now hosts five annual events, one of which, the South Louisiana Crawfish Balling Contest, has just been accepted to the Louisiana Association of Fairs and Festivals. The owners of Cajun Living and Cooking are Leslie Dupree, Paul Irwin, and Rodney Dupree Jr. The show would not be possible without our advertisers, so a special thank you to all of them. We would like to welcome any businesses or corporations to come on board and be part of the Cajun Living and Cooking team. We just recently purchased a drone, so the sky's the limit now. Let us put your next party, event, or get together on TV. And thanks for watching Cajun Living and Cooking. All right, y'all, it's time again for the steak cook off. That's right, the steak, pork chop, baked potato cook off here at Junior's Meat Market. It's June 27th, mark your calendar. It's right here by Moonlight in French Settlement. $20 per category. 20 to get in the steak, 20 to get in the pork chop, and 20 to get in the stuffed potato. You can put anything you want in that stuffed potato, too. We're going to be selling jambalaya plates, we're going to be selling barbecued chicken plates. Y'all come to the steak cook-off and may the best steak win. Junior's Meat Market has everything you need when you're going to the camp. Groceries, fresh produce, beer, hoghead cheese, hot or mild, hot cracklings, and ice. Homemade smoked sausage, mild or hot, daily and weekly meat specials, 21 day aged steaks. We can also process your deer. Come on down to Junior's Meat Market and check us out. River Rats Bar and Grill, an oasis on the A Meat River, located in French Settlement off Highway 16. Hashtag best place to eat and party. With amazingly delicious original and traditional food. Indoor and outdoor seating with a friendly and entertaining staff. Open seven days a week with happy hour Monday through Friday and game day specials. So come by car, bike, or boat. You won't forget the fun times you've had at River Rats Bar and Grill. Gavis Hardware and Outdoor Cooking is two unique stores in one. The hardware department has everything you need to fix stuff right. The outdoor cooking section cannot be beaten. We have all the latest and greatest gadgets on the market. But also, we keep a large stock of the tried and tested cookware we've all come to love over the years. Coffee and biscuits every morning during the week, cooking demos on Saturdays, and customer service that will help you get the job done. Welcome back. You're watching Cajun Living and Cooking. All right, what we got going? Well, we uh we cooked a big chicken this morning. We put it on a little, let it cook for about an hour. Now we're putting on a bunch of wings, and because they don't take that long to cook, so everything will be ready at, at the, the same time. Gotcha. We got now, our brisket warming up. And, uh, 
Hi, Ryan. We've been focusing on roofs a lot, but there there are other things that need maintenance too. Yes, Rodney, there is. For instance, like on this fifth wheel you was telling me. Yeah, what happens on these fifth wheels, Rodney, is <clears throat> this, obviously these things are built out of aluminum and wood, so they're going to move. So when they move, it breaks the seal on all of your uh, main trim parts and everything. So what happened here, if you can see right here where this wood is actually oh, rotted. Oh, yeah. It's giving way. Right. He, he caught it too late to reseal it. So when the water's running down the side of this camper, it's actually going in this trim and rotting this wood that's in behind here. That's major damage. Is, is, exactly. That I mean, eventually will rot off. Yeah, and I don't know if anybody's ever experienced one of these actually delaming, yeah, you know, and you've peeling seen them off. Yeah, coming down the road. Flopping. Exactly, yep. And, and, and not only these seals, it's all the portholes and, the, and all your compartments. You, exactly. You come by and fix all of that. Right, because you can see here where everything is kind of dried up. Yeah. And actually this stuff right here needs to be resealed as well as the roof, you know. And when you come in here, we actually, we offer a, a free roof inspection, a side inspection. We will tell you everything that you need done. Gotcha. I'll give you a price on it. Um, and you're more than welcome to, to go to some of our competitors and get yeah. other pricing. I don't push you into doing anything. I just recommend it. So you'll look at it for free. Right, exactly. Gotcha. And, and tell you the best way to get it fixed. Exactly. And, you know, if they want me to clean the seams and reseal it that myself, I'll do it for them, you know. Gotcha. Yeah, well, you, you wouldn't believe the things he can do. And we're fixing to go in the, in the, in the uh, room in there, in the showroom, and we're going to show some of the other stuff you offer in there. Yes. But we got fish frying, we got brisket cooking, chicken's almost done. The food is getting close, y'all. Very, very close. My shop ain't never smelled this good. It's smelling good in here today. All right, y'all got another one of the cooks here. Let's get his name and where he's from. Hey, Cecil Smith from Holden, Louisiana. Man, you got it smelling good here. Yeah. yeah. What, what you cooking up? Somebody said redfish. Yeah, we got a little redfish that we caught when we were doing some kayak fishing and thought that'd just be something good to cook today. Yes, indeed. Well, I ain't going to stop you from cooking. I'm going to let you keep on going. Okay. Now, uh, I like the way you got it set up here. He's got a little probe in there. He's got it set up just right where it gets up to what you looking for, what temperature. I look, I look between 170 and 180 degrees. I like my grease to be hot when I drop the fish in. I find a lot of times that folks, when they, when they fry fish, they're not watching the temperature. Right. And when they drop their fish, the temperature is just way too cold, and it cools the grease off quick. And that's what'll give you a real greasy fish. Right. So we're actually one three seventy nine right now. Three seventy nine. All right, going in. Now fried redfish is good stuff, y'all. Everybody went to blacking in it and uh, doing all kind of other stuff with it, but fried redfish is hard to beat. Now all you do is just batter it. Yeah, I've got a, uh, basically a fish fry mixture um, that I use. And um, now what I'll also do is I'll come in with the fish itself before I put the batter on. Mm -hmm. I will season it, um, whatever, whatever Cajun seasoning you like. Right, right. And I'll come in and put a little hot sauce on it sometimes. Um, you know, you just play around with it and kind of see what you like. Sometimes I'll do a milk bath with it. Yeah, um, yeah. And a lot of people do that, milk or egg or something. Yeah. I like it just plain like that. That's how Momo cooked them. <laughs> well, you got to be careful with the milk bath because if you get too much in there, well, actually that milk will get in your grease and try to burn your grease. Oh. Uh. So, all right, y'all. Well, he's dropping fish. All the food's getting ready. We're getting close. We're fixing to get some food here in a little bit, y'all. We'll be right back after a few words from our sponsors. RP Custom Trailers and Service is a fully stocked store for RV parts and accessories. With essentials such as tank treatments, hoses, lenses, vents, power cords, cleaning supplies, and everything else your camper may need. Known for customized living quarters and horse trailers for over 18 years. We now specialize in RV insurance work. Talk to Ryan about how to prevent blowouts, and oh yes, that leaky vinyl or rubber roof can be inspected and repaired also. Call or come by and see it all at RP Custom Trailers. Cuts and Such Hair Salon is a full service Paul Mitchell focused salon. We stay up to date on new trends with continuing education through Paul Mitchell. Call or come by and experience a family-friendly atmosphere. Hole in the Wall Seafood and Cajun Meats 
Neil has more to offer. The same high-quality seafood, live and boiled crawfish, crabs, sack oysters, frog legs, shrimp, gator meat, gar balls, and local catfish, just to name a few. Now selling your favorite smokehouse products. Homemade sausage and andouille, beef jerky, stuffed pork chops and chickens, fried boudin balls, cracklings, and much more. Now processing your deer and hogs. And come check out our new seating area. Welcome back. You're watching Cajun Living and Cooking. All right, y'all. As I promised, we finally made it to the food. This looks good, man. It's a full-size brisket. Full-size brisket. Cooked it for about six, seven hours and uh, ready to slice it up. Looks really good. Now, that chicken takes the cake right there. <laughs> yeah, the chicken, chicken turned out good. We already had a couple samples and uh, just ready to get ready to cut everything up, get ready to plate it all up and serve everybody. I'm going to let you go to cutting. All right. Where are you from? You're gonna take chicken over brisket? Well, I like them both. You like them both? I do, I do. And I actually have to barbecue for Mother's Day, so maybe I'll get some good tips from y'all. No, we don't sell that. You don't get to tell all the tips. No, sir. Well, we might have enough enough love, you just take it with you. <laughs> well, I think with this crowd we got here, I think we'll eat everything up. Oh, yeah. So you cutting across the grain? Yes. Across the grain, that way, when you pull on the brisket, you see how it comes oh, apart? Oh, yeah feathers out right all right y'all all right we're gonna let him cut the brisket we got the chicken ready i think the rest of the food just got here we're fixing to do some eating here in just a minute all right ryan we done made it inside and you got the nice air-conditioned showroom in here but you can't can't smell all the fish cooking in here that's right now to sum up our roof stuff this is the products here that you use right and tell us a little bit about them um well ronnie this is what we actually just want to kind of give you a step-by-step -step thing that we do to a roof that, uh -huh. when it can actually be resealed, okay? Because um, I don't want to confuse anybody. I want to make sure that everybody knows what we're talking about. There's a step that you can actually reseal the roof. If it's gone too far, we can put you a new roof on. Okay. So okay. this is actually, you know, the, the most affordable way to take care of this issue. So That's where that six-month checkup comes in. Exactly, exactly. So... Basically, a customer comes in here and says, you know, can you inspect my roof? I said, sure, I can. So we get up there and say, you're due for a reseal. So what we do then is we actually, uh, we have a, an amazing cleaner here that we actually, it's called Amazing Cleaner. We clean the rubber, okay? We pressure wash it. Uh -huh. We clean the rubber really good. We rinse down the trailer for all that chalkiness that comes off of that rubber roof. It's going to go on your trailer. We make sure all that's cleaned off there. It completely dries outside. We pull it into our climate control facility and we tape your front and back seam because that's your most critical part that actually leaks gotcha. is the front and back seam. Gotcha. So this tape right here has actually got a felt backing. So once you stick it on there, the felt is up. You know? Oh, okay. Exactly. Okay. So you can put this over your seam and then what we do is we take the actual Dicor um, rubber roof sealant right. coating and we paint that on your seams on your around all of your vents um, everywhere and especially on the tape gotcha. okay so we actually put two coats of this on everything on the roof wow once it dries we get back up there with a roller and we actually put two coats of the on the main roof itself wow so after that dries uh-huh we go to the last part, and that's getting back on top and putting this self-leveling lap sealant on everything, on your seams, around your roof vents, your television antennas, your um, your plumbing stacks. You know all these things that have a potential to leak. Gotcha. So you're actually protecting it with three things all in wow. one. And, and and a customer, a do-it-yourself guy, can come in and buy this stuff, exactly. and you can show them. I have a kit that I sell to uh, do-it-yourself type people, and I will actually take the time, just like I'm telling you, and yeah. tell them exactly what needs to be done because I'd rather see somebody do it than see their roof be rot. Yeah, you know, so, have rot so you don't have to have done. him doing it. He can teach you how to do it, and exactly. you can keep up the maintenance on yours, but if you don't want to and you're busy, he can do it. Now, we've talked about the roofs and all. Now, we're going to ease over to the showroom and show you a few more things that he's got in here because he's got anything you need for a camper. And if he don't have it, he can get it. That's right. Next day, most of the time. 
And tell us a little bit about a few of the things, um, for instance. Well, I brought you over here because we sell a lot of converters. We have, um, you know, a lot of these trailers, uh, you know, you'll have lightning strike near them or have some type of power surge or something. So the first thing it takes out is your converter. Hmm. You know, so a lot of people, the first thing they do, they'll call me and say, Ryan, you know, air, you know, microwave's working. I have 110 power, but my lights aren't working. Battery's running down. Well, bad converter gotcha, you know so gotcha. i'll direct them in here and we'll actually sell them a converter for them to put it in themselves, or they can bring the trailer by and i can put it in you know most cases it only takes a half an hour to put a converter in right you know? right so you know just saying that to say that you know there's no problems that we can't handle here you right. know and like you said if i don't have the part in my store here i can get it for you real quick right you know and y'all he's got everything y'all from the lights to the connections, to the water connections, to the gas connections, to the water heater, to the vent lids, to the fans, yes. to the trailer, uh, all the generator stuff. Right, generator hookups, um, we have all of that. We have all of your 30 amp, 50 amp to 30 amp, um, 30 amp to 15 amp um, conductors, you know, because, you know, a lot of these places you go to, they'll sell you this at the campgrounds, right. but they want a lot of money for right. it, you know. So, if you come here, I can, you know, load you up on some stuff that you can actually store away in your camper and have for rainy days when you forgot it at home or either somebody's took it from you, you know. And not only do you sell the parts, you do insurance work. Yeah, that's right. That's right. We do um, all, any kind of insurance claims. You know, you have a tree that fall on your camper, we take care of that. If you have a blowout coming back from vacation, we take care of that. We take care of all the paperwork. All you need to do is bring your camper by here. We take a few shots of it with our camera. We take care of the rest. We, we, we contact your insurance company. We take care of all the paperwork. Um, we do extended warranties. Wow. All extended warranty companies we accept, we can do the work for them. Awesome. Man, y'all, little hidden jewel right over here, right down the road from Moonlight in Livingston. You got anything you need for your RVs and your campers. Very good. Now, now we're fixing to move to the important stuff. We're fixing to get to the food. That's right. That's right. We got fish fried. We got food cooked. We got everything. Y'all, the food is next. That's right. All right, Ryan. We finally got to the good part, the food. That's right. Man, this is good stuff. Yes, it is. Very you, good food. You know some good cooks. That's right. It turned out I do. <laughs> well, uh, what a great day for everybody to come out and enjoy and share some recipes and right. come over to your place and... uh have a good old time and get together and eat. That's right. Now, uh, how can people get in touch with you? Um, first of all, you can call us at 698-9978 uh, is our shop number. You can look us up on the web, which is rpcustomtrailers.com. Um, we actually have a Facebook page you can go like us on, and that's um, RP Custom Trailers. Um, we put a lot of specials on there. Um, oh, on Facebook. Yeah, definitely weekly specials that we have here. And, um, you know, just a good way to track our work. We put a lot of pictures of um, works as we're starting them and we're finishing them. You know, that, that's a lot on there. So, um, but, yeah. This man is nothing but campers. Really, really nice. And he knows some good cooks, too. We can't get this one to talk. Let's see if he'll say his name. You say your name? Um. What's his name? Elijah Pierce. Elijah Pierce. You like the fish? All right, y'all. Hey, good time over at Ryan's. And thank y'all for watching Cajun Living and Cooking.